evening. May I have a show of hands of to how many people are selling into businesses before I get started? Uh, high hands, not this, like, th thank you. Um, perfect, not that many. Great. Great. All right. Um, so this would not be relevant to the majority of you. <laughs> so, so feel free to mingle. I don't know what to tell you. Um, so um, outreach is actually, uh, let me actually, before I pitch you on, on what do we do. If you are in the, uh, in the B2B space or you're selling something to somebody else, we, we actually have B2C customers as well because customers are, business are customers. Um, uh, your job as a startup is to make something, anything, go up and to the right. Um, you know, we just race around um, and we had one chart that went up and to the right. So you, know, you have to pick something. Now, if you happen to pick sales or revenue as the chart that you want to go up and to the right, you have to sell something. So your mission, if you're so inclined to take it, is to take your product, approach somebody that has never heard of you before, and get him to buy. That will get you to a Series A. If you make that cycle short and make that repeatable, that will get you to a Series B, roughly. Can everybody hear me? I'm, I'm holding the microphone away from you. Hold the microphone to your chin. It helps. Thank you, Red. Oh, it's sorry. me. I, was, I, was a, I had owned a DJ company, and I've used microphones since I was 19 years old. Put it on your chin. On my it chin. helps. My Makes chin. a big difference. Perfect. All right. Can everybody hear me now? Yes. Perfect. Thank you. All right. So the wrinkle with the process you're about to embark is that the buyer doesn't know you. It may not like you. Um, he doesn't care. And at the end of the day, you're a nuisance. Yet, and this wouldn't be a sales presentation if I didn't have this light up, so I almost ha had to do it. Um, I'm from downtown, from H.M. Murray. Everybody gets it? Yeah? No? Um, it's that you have to make that process predictable. And that's how you scale. Now, we're here to tell you that this problem can be solved with math. And I'll walk you through the math, and I'll show you how we solve it, and that'll sort of be the short of my presentation. So without further ado, um, the traditional math around sales is very, it's very, it's, it's relatively simple, meaning you take a bunch of prospects that you either know or you don't know. Given that this is a startup community, most of your prospects won't know about you, so you have to go in cold. Now, let me take a step back. So cold outreach is the, actually the fastest way for you to get any revenue going into your funnel. If you go the route of marketing, it's gonna take you a few months. And depending on how much money you raise or how much money you have in the bank, it, 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 may, it may kill you. So you wanna go out the, uh, the route cold. So you take a bunch of prospects that you find cold, either through LinkedIn or you buy a list or whatever is your, your suits you fancy. And then you send them an email, you give them a call, or you do something to get, make them aware of you. That will elicit some amount of communication back that's called replies. And that of the replies, some of them will be yes, some of them will be no, and then you'll get out of that some opportunities to talk to somebody, those are appointments. And then you turn those into opportunities, and the opportunities end up being business. That makes sense? It's relatively simple. So the traditional math of closing a business is sort of looks roughly like this. If you were to source a thousand leads, meaning you spend a week on LinkedIn Sales Navigator, uh, you get yourself some twofer or some connectifier or some um, data nice or some other tool to actually do the name guessing for you. You get those emails, you put them into a process, you get some reply rate out of them. Um, you get some open rate out of them. Those opens drive replies. So I've separated the opens from the replies because the, re the replies only are driven from the opens. And then from those, you get a percent of justice and that those are the meetings that you're setting up. Those are the people you're speaking with, right? So that's, a tra that's a traditionally how you run it. Now, there is one level of improvement to that and it's called follow-up. Now, you take the same amount of people and you put them through a number of touches, meaning you send in one email, and then because of, let me just go back to the previous slide. If you multiply 34% by 14%, that's about 4% roughly at, without rounding, or the, with rounding. Um, so if you were to increase the number of touches that you touch that person, I'm here to, tell you, and this is sort of the big surprising piece, that your reply rate actually stays constant. 
meaning if you touch somebody three times, he may only respond on the third time. So if you take a thousand prospects and you put them through that same equation, and you touch in a number of times with the, same, with the different messages, your reply rate will stay constant, but the number of touches will go up, which means the number of appointments that you can goes up. Goes up. So the same math that you use for touching a thousand people, if you use three touches for that, the number of appointments you said is higher. 30 seconds. And that was the insight. So let me get to the bottom of it. Um, now if you do that three times, the number goes up even more. The bottom line is that this is the sort of the, the number of opens that you get when you do um, a series of emails out to somebody following up. I Meaning you send an email, then you send another email saying, hey, I know, noticed you didn't open, I noticed you didn't reply, I noticed you didn't something else. The number of touches across, the, across, the, across every email will stay the same, and the number of replies across your entire campaign will actually stay the same. So that's why you're actually incentivized to continue to send emails to somebody until that person replies with a yes or a no. And the interesting thing is that you're actually, the number of two people who tell you to go away would not go, would not go, would not go up. And this is over, this is, uh, this is a measure that we did over you know, millions and millions of emails. Boop, boop, so boop, the takeaway boop, boop. is follow up. These are the things that you usually say during a follow up. And what we do is we automate the entire thing with a software. Thank you. Questions? There's questions. Sure. Uh, we charge a lot per seat. Per seat. A lot. Yes. Um, Marketo doesn't detect replies, so it won't allow you to send the next email without knowing that the email hasn't been responded. So if you want to do this with Marketo, A, you will pay a lot for Marketo, a lot more than you pay for me. And second of all, when you do this over a very, very large scalable group, you won't be able to detect who replies, so you have to turn everybody off single-handedly. And that's, it gets to be a pain after you know, 50 customers or so. Gentlemen in the back. Um, by coming here. Um, so we, we um, so the reason I say a lot is because we, we want to, how much time do I have? Just uh, like one more question. Oh. Uh, Five <laughs> minutes and three questions usually. Okay. Um, so we, we, so we are, we are a small company ourselves. So one of the decisions that we made by being a small company is that the single seats would get charged quite a bit on a monthly basis. So you can use the product, no commitment, on a monthly basis and see if it works for you. If it works for you, then you can commit for a year and then it go, the, price goes, the price goes significantly lower. That allows me to fund myself and that's how I run the business. Uh, so as a for a startup, you make a bet, it, costs, it will cost you probably around $120 per month and if that works, then you can commit to a longer term and the cost goes down significantly. And I can talk to you about pricing separately. Yes? How many new appointments have you set and how much revenue is I can't tell you the revenue numbers because I'm a private company. Um, but I set eight appointments per salesperson per day. And of those eight, have they been closed? Yeah, it's a 60% close rate. Um, anybody else? Okay, thank awesome. you. Thank you. Outreach. That was his final, why didn't you go to your final slide? <laughs> it was a grand finale. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, outreach. Because <laughs> who doesn't MF and love Samuel L?